Hello everybody, we are back here with the Beginner's Guide playthrough of Call of the Wild, the Angler. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a largemouth and smallmouth uh, guide. Primarily largemouth though, this will be focused on largemouth uh, diamond locations. Uh, you can get diamond smallmouth from one of them as well, so we'll talk about both, but it's primarily going to be focused on largemouth. The first thing we're going to do is go into the lures and purchase the size 6 popper. Now just go with whichever size you're able to get. Uh, size 6 seems to be like the sweet spot to where you'll get a lot of fish, but you're not going to catch like the juvenile size fish. So that's a really good one to go with. And then we're going to go ahead and head over to the frogs and get the size 6 frog as well. Now for doing the tailor's tackle stuff and leveling up, you will get some lures along the way. And we've been doing the tailor's tackle academy. And in fact, that is also what we're going to be doing in today's video is trying to get a gold bass to complete the expert challenge for tailor's tackle. But as I was saying, you will get a frog as you're leveling up and doing the Taylor's Tackle stuff. I don't know if it's from Taylor's Tackle or if it's from leveling. I assume this is from leveling. You'll end up getting a size 10 frog. So if you have to, just go ahead and use that. Just note that you will catch a lot of smaller bass as well. You'll catch a lot of the juvenile and bronze ones. Now, surprisingly, the first diamond largemouth location is actually right here at the very beginning of your uh, adventure here on Golden Ridge Reserve. The very first dock that you'll be able to go to people have consistently caught diamond largemouth out of. Now, I do want to specify this and really talk about it because I've seen a few people get confused about what we call a diamond location in Call of the Wild, the Angler. It doesn't mean you're guaranteed to get a diamond here. It just means that people on average pull more diamonds out of here than they do in other parts of the map. So keep in mind, there's still a lot of RNG involved with getting diamonds. So just because it's a diamond location, doesn't mean you're going to instantly get a diamond. It could still take hours, but that's just kind of how diamonds are in Call of the Wild, the Angler. They're not a super easy thing to get. And uh, there we go. There's a fish right there. There we go. Our first bass of the day. Let's see if this is a good one. I'm using a six pound setup. So this probably isn't huge, but we do have a bass. And there we go. Instantly getting ourselves a 4.70 pound silver largemouth bass a great start to the day and this is our current setup the tenderfoot bait casting rod i believe this is a level eight or level 10 rod it's one of those and then uh, we've also got ourselves the shoat reel this one's a five pound max drag uh, the rod is a 6.61 pound max lion strength and then we got ourselves the uh six pound mono and our size six frog so what you're going to want to do with the uh, frog is the twitching technique it works really really well with it and you'll be getting a lot of uh, bass to go for it. Uh, something else to take note of that I probably should have mentioned a little bit earlier is you will hook into pike when you're fishing a lot of these largemouth locations. It's just kind of how it is. A lot of these spots that diamond uh, largemouth consistently come out of are also pretty good pike spots. So you may break off on a few pike if you're a lower level because the pike get pretty big and they can be tough to reel in on light tackle. And there we go. We got ourselves another bass on Let's see if this one's any better. Looks a little bit smaller, to be honest. And yeah, that right there is a bronze. Now, if you want to avoid catching the bronze largemouth, you'll have to use the size 5 frog and popper. However, I personally don't have those unlocked on this account yet, so we're going with the size 6. And to be honest, if you just want to catch a lot of fish and get a lot of experience as well as money along the way, it's probably best to go with the size 6. That way you're catching a lot more fish while you're trying to target those uh, diamonds and golds. You're going to catch a lot more fish, but they're going to be a lot of smaller ones with uh, maybe a couple golds and diamonds mixed in. Think of it this way. The bigger the lure, the less fish will bite it, but they'll on average be better quality, but it will take a lot longer to hook into fish. If you do a smaller size lure, you'll probably still hook into those giants if they're in the area. And emphasis on if, because it is a, uh, a chance thing. If they're in the area, they will still bite the small lures, but you may have to catch a lot of the small ones in the area first. Let's go ahead and get this guy up. Beautiful, another bronze largemouth. So we are going to be getting a lot of XP and money for this, which is uh, one of the main reasons why we're going for largemouth, because they're really good for money and XP super, super early on. And uh, we got a decent chance of getting that gold to complete the expert challenge from these locations. And there is another fish on already. It's been pretty much every single cast as of now. But I think we're probably going to go to another location 
very, very shortly, as I do want to get to a few different spots today. So I think what we're going to end up doing is just casting out until we get either a gold or higher one. And uh, if I can't get one in a reasonable amount of time, we're going to go to the next location. And uh, you guys will either see a, a good fish or the next location right now. We are now at location number two, which is very close to the starter outpost. You just have to drive the boat over to here and uh, kind of park it right here. This is a really, really consistent and good spot for both Diamond Smallmouth and Diamond Largemouth. And it is just a phenomenal area to go bass fishing. Now, this is also a good area to get uh, gold, pike, and musky. So you will occasionally hook into one of those uh, massive pike or musky. And if you're using light tackle, it may give you quite a struggle. But aside from that, you shouldn't have too much trouble uh, fishing in this area. Because I believe the pike and musky are the only other thing that's going to bite the uh, poppers and the frogs that can be in this area at least and there we go we got ourselves a fish oh that actually that might be a solid fish what do we got there it's it's a pike well speak of the devil there they are a pike <laughs> all right on cue right on cue as always again i cannot stress this enough because a lot of people seem to get confused with this these locations that are diamond bass locations, you are not guaranteed to get one out of here every time you go here. The diamonds in this game are very rare and chances of getting one are quite slim. There's many times where I'll go 10, maybe 20 hours of playing in between diamonds. And that's just in general. So it can be very difficult to get diamonds, but these areas will give you the best shot at eventually hooking into one. Okay, whatever we've hooked into now is actually putting up a decent fight. If this is a bass, then this is a really good fish. If it's not a bass, then, well, that's a little a little sad, but I, I'm hoping this will be a bass. Oh my gosh, it is. That's a bass. That's a bass. So this is going to be at least a big silver. In fact, this might be a gold. This looks big. That's a really nice largemouth, and he's putting up a fight. Oh, it was so close to being a gold, but not quite there. It's just a big silver. But that's still really nice. This is our biggest bass of the day, and it uh, gives me hope for the future in this area. We did switch over to the popper because I was getting nothing but pike and musky on the frog, and I figured, why not try a different bait already moving up in the right direction? Oh, no. We just hooked into a big pike or musky, it looks like. That does not seem to be a small one. We might be in for a bit of a fight here. Yeah, it's a decent one. That's probably a nice silver, but for this tackle, this is huge. This is uh, not exactly what we want to hook into on this type of tackle. But to be honest, I'm surprised it's coming in so easily. Oh, I guess it wasn't as big as I thought it was. And what? Uh, um, We broke the game. What? Where? Where's all the info? <laughs> um, interesting. That feels like a decent fish. Provided this is a bass, this will be a pretty solid one. I mean, knowing my luck, it's probably a pike or a muskie, but maybe if we're lucky. And we are lucky. That is a largemouth. A nice little almost four pounder. Well, we have hooked into a pike or a muskie. I don't think that is the same one. It came from a bit further over to the right. Now, the thing about when you're reeling a big fish in like this you're wanting to tire it out, so it's good to try and, like, pump the rod a bunch and just put as much pressure on this fish as you possibly can. But you also got to watch that red. Don't stay in that dark red for too long. Keeping it there a little bit isn't too big of a problem, but if you do it a lot, then you're going to end up breaking off. So try to only keep it in there a little bit. And if it stays in the dark red for too long, ease off. So this fish is starting to give up a little bit. We're starting to gain a little bit of ground on him. He takes a run here and there, but for the most part, he's just coming in now. Like right here, he's probably going to dart. Yeah, he's darting off a little bit, but then he stops almost immediately. Also, I think there might be a bug with like the rod tracking because I've got rod tracking turned up pretty high, but like it's not tracking my rod. It's just tracking the fish. So it uh, looks a little bit weird, but it is what it is. Let's see if we can get this guy reeled in. He's uh, taking us for quite the wild ride. There's the fish. That's definitely not going to be a gold, I don't think. 
I mean, that's a decent silver pike, but I don't know if that was worth the four minutes it took to reel it in. So <laughs> if we hook any more like this, I'm probably going to end up just cutting them off. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh my gosh, that's actually a huge smallmouth. Oh my gosh. No way. A gold smallmouth. Let's go. <laughs> you know, I didn't even think that this was going to be anything notable, so I don't think I talked the entire time we were reeling this in until it got to the boat. But that right there is going to complete the Taylor's Tackle Academy. So let's go ahead and uh, get a quick screenshot because this is our first uh, gold smallmouth as well as uh, releasing it and completing the Taylor's Tackle Academy. Congratulations, you've completed all of Taylor's Tackle Academy classes and challenges. You're now equipped with all the knowledge you need to go out and become a master angler. As a reward, we're sending you off with a few gifts. Let's see what we get for the gifts. I can't remember if you get any uh, line with it. I know for a fact we should end up getting a rod and reel, as well as some clothing, a boat, and a jeep skin. So let's see. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So <laughs> a thousand credits. Beautiful. And I believe we get, yeah, five gold tokens. And we also get a diamond token as well as, and yeah, that's it. But honestly, that is a lot of stuff. That is an incredible amount of stuff. Uh, do we have that other rod with us? No, we don't. So we do need to go get it, but that is going to be a massive, massive upgrade. So I guess there is no rod and reel that you get for completing the expert challenge. However, you do end up getting the um, maiden when you first start doing this. So I guess that is at least a bonus. And I think if I'm not mistaken, I believe this rod comes with the game. I could be wrong. I just remember that this showed up in our inventories one random day, a couple months after the release of the angler on PC almost a year ago. So I'm not sure if this comes with it when you first buy it or if you get this from doing Taylor's Tackle as well, but eh, at least you get a rod for completing some of the missions, but I thought we'd get like a, a better one for completing the expert class. But I mean, we still got all the uh, different cosmetics. I went ahead and customized my character with some of the uh, Taylor's Tackle stuff and yeah, we'll uh, we'll keep fishing, see if we can get ourselves some more good bass. We are now at location number three. This is going to be at the bridge right over here by this uh, trailhead. This is a really good spot for diamond, smallmouth, and largemouth. However, we're going to be primarily targeting the smallmouth today. As this area is uh, a very pike and musky filled area once again. And uh, I want to try and avoid them. So I'm going to use the eggs to try and catch some bass instead. And that is going to be a decent little largemouth to start the day. And with it becoming nighttime, I believe this is going to be the end of the video. But we completed the Taylor's Tackle Academy Advanced Challenge, as well as showing you guys three of the best diamond bass locations where you could potentially find yourself a diamond. And we even caught ourselves a gold smallmouth in the process at one of those locations. Again, these are not, these are not areas where you're guaranteed to get a diamond, but it will give you a better chance than if you were at some of the other locations. But thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!